Hi everyone, it's Tom from the team at Cascade Strategy and I'm here to walk you through our strategic planning template today. So I'm going to be showing you how to actually download the template and then work through the different steps so that at the end you'll actually have a strategic plan that you can export, that you can upload into Cascade, that you can show to people to get feedback, whatever you need. Now, we're not going to be covering exactly how to write the different components of the strategy today. We're just going to be going through how to use the template, but I'm going to link you through to a bunch of resources to actually help you fill things out as you go. So let's get started. Um, I'm on the strategic planning template download page here. You can get to that from the blog post. You're just going to pop in your details on the right hand side, hit download, and that is going to download a zip file. And inside that zip file is a strategic planning template. It's in an Excel format, so you'll need to make sure you've got Microsoft Excel. If you don't have Excel, you can also use Google Sheets, which is a free online software. And when you open up that template, you're going to be presented with the welcome screen. So on the welcome screen, you're just going to get a few instructions as to what to do. Um, also a link to our blog. This is going to be a really useful uh, resource later on. But let's actually dive in and look at the structure. So we've got a series of tabs at the bottom here. Vision, values, focus areas, objectives, projects, KPIs. And then the very last tab is a auto-generated tab that's actually going to write up your template uh, into a strategic plan that you can use. Um, this particular model is what we call the Cascade Strategy Model. Uh, it's basically the vision, the values, the focus areas, etc. Um, you can also use uh, some similar models with this template as well. You just need to rename some of the tabs. So let's actually get started. We're going to work through the tabs uh, step by step. We'll start with the vision statement. This one's really simple. Um, all you need to do is basically populate your vision statement into here. Now, if you're struggling with actually creating the content for this template, so how to actually write a vision statement that's effective, what I'm going to refer you to, and I'll put a link to this uh, below this uh, video, is head over to our Cascade Academy and then go to the bit that says ebooks, templates, and toolkits. Now, this is a completely free resource. It's got tons of things in here that are going to help you with all the different elements. So if you want to find out, for example, how to actually write a really effective vision statement, just go in and actually grab our vision statement uh, ebook, um, and that will actually walk you through that step. We've actually got similar resources for every single tab within the template. Um, so this is an awesome resource. So check out the link uh, below the video. So let's assume that you've got a vision statement that you're happy with. I've got one here that says everyone who wants people powered transport is getting on a meerkat cycle. So this is as if I'm a, a cycling company. Um, and what you need to do is just type that vision statement into this orange box. Um, this is basically going to pull it through into the last uh, step there. So type your vision statement in here and then we'll kind of move on. Um, values, we've got a similar uh, approach here. Again, you can head over to the Cascade Academy I showed you earlier for tons of guides on how to write your values. What you're going to do is once you've got your values, you're going to put them in one by one into these boxes. Uh, the template supports up to four values. Of course, you can add more if you need to just by adding additional rows to the template. So you're just going to type in those values. And again, they're going to pull through automatically in the last step. Moving on to focus areas. So focus areas are essentially high level categories for your goals. Um, they're the high level things that are going to make that vision statement happen. Um, and you can see here we've got some examples of focus areas, happy customers, growing business, strong financial control. Once again, tons of focus areas examples uh, in the Cascade Academy, which you can link to uh, from uh, below this video. And all you're going to do is you're going to put in your focus areas into this tab here. You've got up to five that you can actually populate. Um, just overwrite the ones that are there and then insert the ones that you want to add below. And then we're going to move on to the next step. Now, this is where things start to get a little bit serious. Um, now, what the template's going to do, which is pretty cool, is the focus areas that you've populated on the prior tab are going to automatically pull through into the objectives tab of the template. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to put in some strategic objectives underneath each of the focus areas. And you can see that we've basically given you support for up to three objectives for each of the focus areas. The way that objectives work is they're basically high level outcomes. So how high level kind of things that you want to achieve. So I've put in here a strategic objective to create a new platform for interacting with customers. You can see I've started off with a verb there. So you should always have something like create 
build, deliver, something like that that's very action oriented. And then in the details, you're just gonna put a little bit more information to round out the sentence. And then what you are gonna put in for your objectives is you're gonna put a start date and a deadline. So you're just gonna populate those fields um, with whatever you think realistic timeframes are for each of your objectives. And you're gonna build this out. Make sure you've got at least a couple of objectives for each one of your focus areas. And once you've got that, you're gonna move on to the next tab. Um, you can see here actually we've got links through to some resources about how to actually write objectives. So again, I'm not covering that in this video, but we do have a ton of additional resources that you can get to quite easily there. So in the next tab, um, we've got uh, what we call our projects. Now, projects basically sit underneath our objectives, and they're the things that we're going to do to actually deliver the objective. So if you think of the objective as the outcome, the project is what you're going to do to actually get to that outcome. So once again, nice thing about this template, it's all automated, your focus areas are going to pull through, and what's even better now is the objectives that you wrote on the previous tab are also going to pull through, and you can see here it's going to pull through with the dates, and underneath that you've got options to put in two projects for each of your objectives. So you can see I've got an example in there, build new customer facing web portal. It's a little bit more specific than our objective, um, but it's very much a subset of that objective. And once again, we've got a verb to start with, the details over here, and then we've got a start date and a deadline for that project. So you're gonna go ahead and build out at least two projects for each one of your objectives. Now, moving on to the next tab, which is KPIs. You can see here things are a little different because our focus areas have come through, our objective has come through, but our projects are nowhere to be seen. Now that's because projects and KPIs actually sit at the same level on our strategic plan. So they both sit directly underneath the objectives and you'll see that on the, the last tab. So don't worry about your projects for now, they are gonna come back later. But what I'm gonna get you to do is put in at least two, um, ideally two, one is okay, um, KPIs for each one of your objectives. KPIs is basically saying, okay, how am I gonna measure um, whether or not I've achieved my objective? And in this case, you can see I've created uh, a KPI that says deliver visits to the web portal. And what's a little different on this tab is that in addition to just having a start date and a deadline, we also have a metric, which is a numerical target. This must be a number, same for all of the KPIs that you populate and also what we call a unit. So in this case, we're measuring 10,000 people. That's 10,000 people visiting the web portal. This could also be $1 million, uh, dollars being the unit. So whatever KPI um, you need, you can actually kind of put that in there. You can see we've got space for quite a lot, and we've actually got this fantastic library of KPIs in the Cascade Academy that you can check out. So if you do actually need a little bit of help on that one, just head back to the Academy, go to Academy there, and then towards the bottom, we've actually got our KPI cheat sheets. And you can see we've basically got a bunch of KPI examples for pretty much every industry that you can think of. So if you're in sales, basically just go in there, download that one. If you're in finance, download that one. These are really, really awesome cheat sheets, tons of content in there, all kinds of different KPIs that you can play with. So a lot of resources. So go ahead and put in a couple of KPIs for each of your objectives, making sure to put in those metrics, those units, and still putting in those start dates and deadlines. And that is pretty much the last step of the template. What that's going to do, if you then navigate to the final tab, which is the plan output, you actually don't need to touch anything on here. This is going to be automatically generated for you. It's going to put out your vision statement. It's going to pull in those values that you put in on the second tab. It's going to pull in your focus areas. And it's also going to pull in all of the objectives, all of the projects, and all of the KPIs that you actually put together. And you're going to end up with a complete strategic plan. Now, the nice thing about this process is because it's been done step by step, Hopefully it's been a little bit less overwhelming than some of the other templates that you might have seen, which would jump straight to this page and basically just get you to populate everything from scratch. So I recommend not putting anything on this page at all. Put all of your inputs into the tabs before and then use this page as the very final version uh, so that you can actually output. Once you've got this, you can print it, you can export it into a PDF, you can share it with people, um, you can do all kinds of things. 
Now, if you have made it this far and you have actually got a strategic plan, what you might want to do is consider actually taking it from this template and uploading it into a strategy execution tool, a little bit like Cascade. And I've actually got Cascade open here. You can see the page I'm actually on is what we call our strategy model page. And this is basically uh, the kind of like model that I was talking to you about earlier. It's got the focus areas, it's got the objectives, it's got the KPIs and the projects. The cool thing about Cascade is if you don't like the way that we've got things structured, if you want your model to be just a little bit different, maybe you don't want to call them uh, KPIs, you want to call them measures, you can just type that in and that will actually then just kind of like update in real time. All of this is actually drag and drop as well. So you can move things around and just kind of like design your strategy model to be any way that you like. Once you've actually got that set up, you can then actually input all of those same kind of focus areas, uh, objectives. You can see here that I've actually, if I kind of color this by um, the type of goal it is, you can see I've got my objectives on the top level there. And as I kind of dive into there, I've now got my measures. They were KPIs before, we just renamed them to measures. I've got my projects. And the beautiful thing about Cascade is, of course, you can visualize it all in one place. So you don't have to just rely on that kind of template view. You can see these really nice um, kind of Cascade trees that we call them. Um, there's a ton more things that you can do with Cascade, of course, as well, in terms of tracking. We've got our dashboards, we've got our reports, we've got our integrations to actually live track this stuff. We'll cover that in another video. But for now, hopefully that gives you a pretty good idea of how to build a strategic plan using the template and how you could actually implement or even build the whole thing in Cascade. Hopefully that's been a useful video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks everyone, bye.